had a talent all along. Is it that? How can someone from the reserve have such an amazing uh, talent? Cloudus, thank you for the follow. In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? Then Hajime's name is fake? Th there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. I've always had that name ever since I was born. Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last minute plot twists. <laughs> I don't blame you. That must be it. The whole cultivation plan. Created hope. Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan. What is that? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was Nagito researching would be so a proud. plan <laughs> to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder. And called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Oh, geez. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? Because we were just normal people. A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. There you go. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... was me. Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. You still don't what? get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? Oh dear. See? Didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. That's definitely a lie. And after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0. Oh no. Did you say transformed? I became him? What did they do to him? I don't know. Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. Oz Metal Band! Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome to the stream. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously, it's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Uh -huh. Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, if Hachime gets out of here, he's going to be a super genius, right? Oh boy. Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. D different person? How is he different? How? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? I'm not human. All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. You're telling me I'm not human. Huh? Emotions? Thoughts? Hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So oh that's why it's so surprising that Hachime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. 
The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Oh no. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. Oh god. I don't have a talent. What are you talking about? Looks at all his awards. I will never fall into despair. <laughs> Disappear? All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. Oh, Jesus. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. Disappear? I'm going to disappear? 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 Oh no. I am losing my mind. Oh shit. What's happening? Game, what are you doing? <gasps> oh no! I'll not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Really? I don't really understand, but I guess we have to part ways for a while. It's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason to meet me again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play well on, do you? Holy shit! That's bone chilling to the nth degree. Oh God! Was that me? No, that's that's not me. That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Huh? Could it be the one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was? It's not me. Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. Oh, God. <laughs> Have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. I do? Look at his face. He's just devoid of, like, emotion or hope. I already know how I can become saved. Become the Blacken. Choose graduate, huh? Or submit to Junko? I see. I just need to choose graduate then. Uh. Huh? In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. Oh, shit. And that way my avatar will overwrite the... Easier. Oh, Jesus. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless, happy ending. <laughs> oh, this has gone so deep! Why would you not want to be the Blacken? Submit to your giggity. Hold on. You can't do that. Uh, if you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Juko's alter ego. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the Future Foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. This is so fucking elaborate. That's not it. What we're saying is, we have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the Ultimate Despairs, right? Once you go back to being Ultimate Despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. <laughs> Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> and can you guys even endure that? 
Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love. There won't even be save data left of it. God damn. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. Fuck, she's preying on all of our insecurities here. Will you be and our selfishness, technically. Despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her! That's how she works! That's what she does. So she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Her hold on! What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the imagine. real world oh, if Junko God. escapes? I don't want to. No. I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now? It's finally started to calm down. Really? If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? Jesus. At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. Huh? As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass Wait. along their avatar's memories, and everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? Oh my god! Just deal with it. <laughs> you guys, you can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. And which is true despair. Um, Holy what shall fuck. We do? Holy fuck. Every path seems fucked up. I agree. There is no, we're fucked no matter what we pick. You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? Damn it. Why'd it turn out like this? Holy crap. Okay. If everyone can overcome despair. You guys should be able to grasp true hope. If our memories up until now disappear, I will oh not Oh my god, remember. I only get these two options. The reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? What do I do? I think I'm a fool, but What do I, I do? I want to see Pekko one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair, the Future Foundation might kill us, right? I can't even we shoot. Let them do that. Whoa, the what? Future Foundation's fault. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! Oh god. For your protection. If Junko is I know, I see the, the bars. World. Mental pollution. There will be countless victims again. Uh, I know, but everyone's hope is in conflict. Such just Graduate or shut down? The world or me? Hope or despair? They're telling us to choose? To choose between that? Why? Oh my god, everything's freezing. Why do we have to choose? What? What just happened? What just happened? I can't do it. Huh? I can't do it? I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And that, I can't decide. I can't choose either one. Oh my god. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! This, this is just too much. Why do I, why do I have to be a part of this? I mean, 
I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent. But even so, I got dragged into this. And now, my existence is going to disappear? <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? It's all fucked up. <laughs> Despair.exe has stopped working. Next time, don't run on Windows 8, you dumbasses. <laughs> this burden. Don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Everyone, get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. Oh, shit. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh, well. Since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. What just happened? That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that. But the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. Oh, After all, fuck, this is a hope. game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine. I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm. I think it's fine if that exists too. Oh god. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So... Let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Uh. Forever and ever 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 and ever. Um. What? What just happened? Excuse me? What? I... What? Ev every, everybody? Where everybody? All right! What? A game reset! Huh? And with this, the world will continue to loop! An eternal game utopia sounds like fun! Excuse me? I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. What? Young master, that is a wise call. I... Uh -huh. Yeah! I would. Yes, there's no way I would I... forget. What? And with this, Juko's gone. I don't know what. All right. What's going on? Let's party! I, I would. I'm gonna showcase my full cooking ability. Excuse me? Just leave the BGM to Ibuki. Okay, I would. Hey, can I take a picture to commemorate this? I want what? to be awed by the sight of my prowess? I know I. I've prepared you a training regiment. Oh fuck no! I what? <laughs> if you get hurt, let me know. What's happening here? Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? Whoa! <laughs> After changed. all this time. Was this again? Oh, there's no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. All right. Game more panties. And with this, the world will continue to loop. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. What am I doing? All right. I and with this, the world will. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. What am I doing? All right. I and with this, the world will. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. Excuse me? All right. I and with this, the world will continue to loop. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. Is there anything yeah. else for me to yeah. shoot? And with this, Juko's gone. Surging emotions, gentle words, hope should ex be expected, despair should be ended, bullets should be fired, nothing exists. To showcase my just leave the beach hey can i take what to be odd by the i've prepared you a... <laughs> should i begin with a <laughs> that 
That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? Whoa, what? All right. And with this, the world Whoa, 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 whoa what? Find a stick. Yeah, master. Yay! Yes, there's a And with this, you can All right. I'm gonna showcase my Just leave the BG. Hey, can I take What to be odd by the I've prepared you a <laughs> Should I begin with a <laughs> That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? What was this again? There's no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. I wanted this? No? Right. And with this, the what the fuck is going on? Your master. Yay! Yes, there's a- And with this, you go- All right! I'm gonna showcase my- Just leave the BG- Hey, can I take- Want to be awed by the- I prepared you a- <laughs> Should I begin with a- <laughs> That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? I wanted right. this? And with this, the world will continue to loop. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. Wait. Wait! I get it. All okay. Right. Wait. And with this, the world. An eternal game. I guess it's fine to stick. Young master. Yay! Yes. Hold on. There's... And with this, Juke. All right! I'm gonna showcase my. Just leave the BG. Hey, can I take. What to be odd by the. I've prepared you. <laughs> Should I begin with a. <laughs> That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? All right! A game reset! And with this, the world will continue- An eternal game utopia- This world... I'm getting out of here. Who... are you? Chiaki? I'm just a part of the game, but you guys aren't, right? Chiaki? Is that you? Why are you here? Oh my god. Hmm. I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because you should have already disappeared. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Anyway, don't you think they're messed up? Telling us the world's going to be destroyed? And to sacrifice ourselves? There's no for someone like me. I'm just not able to choose. Seriously. I've had enough. I'm tired of being mixed up in all this stuff I don't understand. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear too. <laughs> Isn't that messed up? We don't want that either, right? I mean, if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear, and none of us will ever remember you. No, I won't. Huh? Why, what? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't mean I will completely disappear. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. I mean, yeah, technically, but... You're right, but... You're... probably just scared, right? Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden, right? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified. Of that... Damn. How much longer are you going to be this indecisive? I, d I don't know. Huh? Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? Yeah, but... But... Even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Yeah, they didn't care. Hajime... You've had it wrong this whole time. I have? Wrong? Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's important is that you believe in yourself. Oh, man. If you can't do that, no matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. Just like how you were in the past. You, hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. 
He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be all right. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Michiaki, can you tell me something? Which... which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? You guys are the only ones who have the right to decide your future. And the responsibility, too. Of course. Of course. <laughs> GGK asked me a question. Do you feel the despair? Yes, I feel the despair. So you're of course saying I do. I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. How so? Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. <clears throat> if I do it, things will turn out okay. Of course, games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. But, but this isn't a game, right? Hey, Hajime. This isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. Come on, I'll help out too. Help? What are you going to do? Whoa! No talent at all. Um... Excuse me? I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. Is this really me? I have no talent at all. I have no talent at all. I, uh... I was, I was even betrayed, betrayed by the academy I admired so much. What the fuck? I disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Who cares what will happen to the world? I care! I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. There's no way we can beat Junko. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Not mine. I can't choose the future. What if I can? See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even be able to create the future. I'm taking this statement. It's totally uncool. <laughs> I have no talent at all. The game has been all one big metaphor for truly believing in yourself. I so much. I Jesus to, Christ. I'm not easy. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice. It's not like I'll be. A, there's no way we can. It's the future foundation's fault. Not mine. I can't choose the future. So create it. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even Excuse be able me? to create the future. What? What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Oh, do I have to shoot like I every have statement? No talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy. Fuck all you, disappear. dude. Fuck all of you. I'm not easy to come Who cares what will happen to the world? I care. I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated any. There's no way we can beat you. Yes, we can beat her. Even so, it's the Future Foundation's fault. Even so, not mine. Even so, I... Whoa. Holy shit. No matter what kind of future it is, as long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. Her mouth is moving. Everything that happened here, it won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future. Even if it's a convenient miracle. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's why you can't hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll... 
be cheering for you too. Oh man, that reminds me. Oh god. I forgot to say it again. Thank you. Thanks for everything. <laughs> that lip sync. Yeah, the lip sync is awful, but it doesn't matter. You can't lose hope. Memories we made here disappear. I will not even remember. Why everyone died. I'm I'm fucking waking up. I'm waking up. The tragedy will start once again. I want to see Becca one more time. Wake up again! If we turn back into ultimate despair, we might be killed by the future foundation, right? This is your responsibility, since you're the ones who fell to despair. It's not our responsibility. It's the future foundations. Oh, God. They're both hope and they're both despair. Hope that and despair? The conclusion will never be fucking reached. Let me fucking shoot it! You can't lose hope. Store power? If the memories we made here disappear, I will not even remember. I'm storing power. Why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of despair, the tragedy will start once again. I want to see Becca. Come on! Is that enough? If we turn back into ultimate despair. Oh, oh, just hold the button. Be killed by the future foundation, right? Just this hold is the your button. Responsibility, since you're the ones who fell to despair. It's a penis. If the memories we made here to die, will not even remember why everyone died. If we don't rid the future, world, the holy shit! Echo one. If we turn back into, we might be killed by the. This is your responsibility. It's not responsibility. It's the future foundation. They're both hope and they're both. A conclusion will never. Fuck you! No, that's wrong. Whoa! I've turned into Ishimaru. What am I? I won't just be hope. I'm a Super it Saiyan. Be a lot of despair too. I'm a Super Saiyan. What? I. What just happened? I don't know what kind of future awaits us, but our futures are ours. I won't let anyone take them. Excuse me? Who the hell are you? I, I'd like to know that too. I've decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake but my own. Don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? Oh shit, I just tapped into the ultimate hope portion of Izuru. I am not. Zuru Kamakura. Read my truth bullets? What are my truth bullets right now? Future. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. As experienced the enlightenment of believing in himself, Hajime Hinata truly became Hajime Hinata. Wait, so I'm just he Hajime? The lightning. Is that Super Saiyan 2? I am Hajime Hinata! Whoa. Rebuttal Showdown. The future. Oh, that's it. You're gonna get fucking cut, Junko. You despair because you yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because you just Infinite cuts. Already. There's no need for you to choose. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Just shut the hell up. If you do that, this game is gonna continue for us. If you don't want that, just turn off the game. Even so, I... <laughs> you don't have to look at the hopeless future. Fuck you! I missed. Oh, dear. Damn it! I you missed. Despair because you yearn for you yearn for hope because you just let's finish this already. There's no need for you to choose. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Just shut the hell up. If you do that, this game is gonna continue. For if you don't want that, just turn off the game. Even okay. So, I. You That's don't have it. To look at the hopeless future. I'll Cut. Never let anyone choose again. Woohoo! Those eyes. Oh, break. Panic talk action now. Really? Okay, fine. I don't want anything. You have no argument. There's no hope. I mean, I have infinite bullets. Just give up already. A miracle won't happen. What is this crappy feeling? I don't want anything. 
You have no oh my god. The future will make you suffer. No, it won't. Just give up I'll make you suffer. You're not hope. I don't want to lose anything. Negative time doesn't the even affect me. You, you have no argument. You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do anything. That's wrong. No, that's wrong. Giaki. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. What the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this? All oh of a my sudden? god! Ding dong, y'all are wrong! Everyone, let's shut this game down! Huh? But, but don't you get it? If we start the shutdown sequence, we'll. They fuse? Is that what happened? There's never only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow things to end this way. The future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that. Let's leave this place with confidence. And from there, we can just create it on our own. The future that we want. What are you saying? There's no way something that can be the Danganronpa theme. It wouldn't be strange if a miracle happened. <laughs> this isn't a game. We can change the future as much as we want. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just going to forget everything. Th that goes for everyone else. Oh, au contraire, my blonde bimbo friend. Um... We just have to press these two buttons at the same time. Correct? Easy peasy. <laughs> um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but I just, I just saw it. What did you see? When my body felt so heavy that I could not move. When I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea. It was at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it. Like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. A warm, yet resolute light. The one who shined that light, it was probably... It was me. You saw it too, right, Hajime? The future we are going to create from this moment on. Yeah. It is also the future that everyone has created, right then? There is no way we can stop now. Let's do it. Seriously, that's a suicidal decision. I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out, but... I... I heard her voice. Chiaki. In fact, I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. <laughs> I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. Or did you hear I don't Petko? Like thinking about complicated stuff. If there's someone strong worth fighting. I'll fight. That's what it means to be confident, right? Then I'm gonna choose this. Man, this sure is getting annoying again. But if you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now. <laughs> that if face. I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place, no matter what. You, you all, why, why? How, how can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures. That's... that's impossible. That can't be hope. It's not even despair. What is this? Hajime, everyone, thank you. You're welcome. You're not the one you should be thanking. Huh? Oh, who, Chiaki? Holy shit, that's it. That's the end. That's the end. I'll take those mono coins. Let's get started. I didn't think it would end this easily. Huh? It's not the end, right? This is just the beginning. First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we're the ones who are going to create. Damn, we've done it.
What? Monami? Or Usami, actually. What the hell? Rainbow power? Save the day? What? Oh dear. Oh, bondage. How, how, how nice. What is, what is going on? I like to think this is how anti-viral software works. Holy shit, she broke! Man, this is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. It's taken from me. Thank you, Shadow Freezer. How fun. Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? But I guess I no longer, I no longer have to hope for despair. That is just so hopeless. And she's done. Done. What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. I guess it's just as Hajime said. At least this wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was the ending they created. We created this. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything. Fair enough. Well, thanks for your help, guys. I do appreciate that, but... What are we doing now? Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but... Even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether <laughs> it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? I mean, it does make sense. That's the future. Oh, Nekomaru. Hey, I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. You guys better remember me too. My name is Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Hmm. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. <laughs> Please do. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. What is going to become of us? So this is the end. But it's just the beginning. Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared. So scared, but... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. I finally said it. <laughs> finally said it. Me too. Thank you. Oh man. I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never ever forget. 
I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. From somewhere. Cause... We're all friends after all. Hmm. Game over. <laughs> Chapter 6. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. And Katateel, thank you for the follow. And welcome to the stream. Right in the heart. Right in the feels. What the hell? Uh, giant cell phone! Oh, God. Thanks, game. Would I like to save my progress? Uh, yeah, I'd like to save my progress. Thank you very much. And so the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, with nonsense, with sheer irrationality, is about to lower its curtain. An incident smaller than Hope Speak Academy's biggest, most tragic event, smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, an incident so small it doesn't even have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now. Not in the distant future. As long as they remain here. Apparently Ooh, what? they've finished the preparations. What? We can leave any time. Excuse me? Then I guess we should get going. Hey Makoto, is this really okay? What are we doing? You're the one who said leave the questions to me. So I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. What? Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. But in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. Oh, no, wow. The possibility isn't a problem. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. Damn. In their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. <laughs> Strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair. And they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable. Don't you think? <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. Well, maybe he doesn't have to. Haven't grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision this time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Um, about that. I was Sorry, thinking about remotes. it while I was on the ship. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow Freezer. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. Huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. <laughs> uh... Just deal with it, Makoto. Just deal with it. Then let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. There's still a lot we must do. Besides the Future Foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. Is it? We must end this once and for all, for the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't make me remember something so horrifying. <laughs> He's talking about Toko, isn't she? Oh, then no. Let's go. We must create our own futures, too. <laughs> talking about good old Toko. Genocide Jack's waiting for her hubby to come home. And so, the ordeal has ended. And from here, our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical, and irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. A lot more difficult, huh? There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. So we're all still on the, the island. Path. It's like an endless sea. 
You can try to go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so, I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. Really? Ha! Huh. Look at that. I look normal. My future lies here. Epilogue. The day before the future. There's more? Or was that just the epilogue? Oh, he cut his hair. Fair enough. I look normal. Fantastic. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Woo! Oh, what a rush. I feel good. I feel good having finished that game finally. And yeah, the music. Uh, I must ask this obvious question. Did this game surpass DR1? Honestly, yes. In terms of the of the characters and the and the sheer craziness of the plot, it did indeed surpass DR1 in my opinion. Uh, thoughts on the game? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna get my thoughts right now. Thanks for the cheer, Lady Iactium. This game was it was a clear market improvement over its predecessor in a lot of ways. Uh, for one, the game just looked generally the, it's the simplest thing to explain, but it just looked way smoother and way better than the last one. <laughs> Ultra Despair Girls. Oh boy. Uh, it, it looks a lot cleaner, looks a lot more crisp, everything there. It's great. In terms of the plot, the game, they, they made some serious improvements in the unpredictability of the plot, I feel. Um, DR1, I definitely felt like the overarching plot was definitely predictable more as you went further along. You can see kind of where things were going a bit. Um... The cases, they, they made the cases in DR1 feel a lot, really fresh. They made them feel really, you know, like, tricky. You had to solve them, especially the further along you went, they got harder. This game, I think the cases overall were weird. I think the cases in the beginning were easier than the ones in Danganronpa 1, but the cases towards the end were way more difficult than the ones towards the end in Danganronpa, 2, in Danganronpa 1. So I think... Danganronpa 2 had easier cases and way harder cases than than the original. Personally, I feel. And that's the game that offered twice the style and twice the mind fucks has ended. The mind fucks were definitely way more in this game than compared to the first one. Um, the, I'm trying to think like any any of the big mind fucks. The big mind fucks really only had to do more with like the, the the killings themselves as opposed to like the fuck was going on behind the scenes. This game had much more like behind the scenes sort of mindfucky sort of stuff, like who was in control, the actual nature of the, the the game world we lived in, and all that stuff was crazy, especially the fucking Nagito Ultimate Luck bullshit trial, oh my god, that murdered me a little bit. Oh god. Tokyo Maku to make a good couple, don't they? They do, they do. It's in the first game as well. They kind of made it that way. This game was just a joy to play. Much like the first. The first was a joy as well, but this... Like... Th this has got me hyped for V3 in ways you can't even imagine. Because... To think that V3 improves even more on this? That's insane. That's crazy. I... My mind can't handle it. And, of course, I will be playing Ultra Despair Girls at, uh, at, at some point. Luckily, it doesn't really have any effect, uh, effect on V3, luckily, so when V3 comes out, we're going to hop straight into it, but... Oh my god, this game is just fucking amazing. The, the emotional roller coaster I've gone on playing this game, I can't even begin to describe the roller coaster ride I just went on. I mean, if I, if I were to, you know, score the game in, in general like I usually do for most of my projects that I finish. I normally don't do this with stream stuff, but um, these games, I think, kind of deserve it in of themselves. If, if, uh, if, I have to, if I have to score these things, where should I start? I should probably start with the, the general gameplay. The gameplay, I thought, was way better than the first game. 
easily a, 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 a 9 out of 10 for the gameplay. It was very smooth. They, they, they fixed things that needed to be fixed to make things more interesting and, var interesting and varied. And they kept things that worked well, and they made kept it the same, like the general feel for a class trial. Hey, man, can't make game it though. It's so fucking stupid. I don't like it one bit. I know why people don't like it. I don't like it either. The plot and characters are so intricately tri uh, combined in these series. The characters in this game were way, way more solid. I mean, characters definitely a nine out of ten plot, and eight out of ten. Characters were very, very solid in this game. Way more colorful and, and solid I felt in the first game. Though I honestly feel like that the first game had some characters that were way more standout than, than the ones in the second game. I think everybody's level was raised in the second game, but because of that, it felt like that some of the characters didn't feel total standout like they did in the first game, which I don't know. The special characters in the first game, I think, felt more special than the special characters in the second game. Um, graphics, definitely a 8.5 out of 10. It's fantastic. And the music, 9 out of 10. Fantastic. How can you go wrong with this music? I love you too, Monokuma. <laughs> that was Japanese Monokuma, wasn't it? Oh, boy. What is this? Goodbye Academy of Despair. Achievement unlocked. The Easter Egg. I got an Easter Egg. And a Usami Strap. Fair enough. What the fuck? What, what do I keep getting? Danganronpa if. Excuse me? Yes, I will save my current progress. Danganronpa. Novel. By that amazing writer. Is that fucking Mukuro? Oh god, no. Island mode, an alternate storyline where Monokuma lost against Usami. <laughs> I could just do my my social linking. All right, that is all. Uh, I'm not reading that on stream. If you want to read it, play the game yourselves. Go read it. I'm actually pro pretty positive that most of you have read it already. So thank you all for watching the stream. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. Thank you, uh, Vanille, for following. I appreciate that. When we come back with Danganronpa, it will be with V3 in two weeks when that launches. So thank you all for coming. I hope you come out to streams in the future. I play lots of cool stuff like this. Hope you go check me out on YouTube if you haven't already. And thanks again. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the cheers, the bits, the follows. Um, I don't think I got any subs today, but I appreciate those too. And that's all for me. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next stream or on YouTube. And I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Don't lose hope. See you guys later. <laughs>